Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 410, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Listen, are you sure you guys want to go? The experiment's just about to start. Ah, uh, the experiment's bite. It's all so dull and so, uh, banal. Yeah, Joel, this place is for losers and squares. Stick around here and you're headed for nowhere on a rocket sled, baby. Uh, uh, no offense, of course. Oh, no. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite 11. Joel Robinson still stuck up here in space. And uh, uh, this is Gypsy. Hi! And uh, my other two robots, Tom, Servo, and Crow, have decided to run away from home and go live on the other side of the ship. All right, uh, we're going to get going then, Joel. Uh, and please don't embarrass yourself by following us, okay? Oh, no, Nick, I won't. This go. is your deal. I can see you got everything. Uh, what, what's this right here, Tom, in your hand? Oh, I made a boomerang to hunt wild animals. Oh, smart. Uh, hmm. Oh, see you later. Okay, okay. bye-bye. I was born. I want... They'll be back. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Magic Voice, you want to give us a status report on how they're doing? They are 50 yards away. They have stopped. They appear to be arguing. Crow is set on his pack and is hitting Tom Servo in the shoulder. Tom is crying. They're headed back. Commercial sign now. You were right, Gypsy. Yeah. We'll be right back. We're back. We forgive you. Now, what's for lunch? I thought you guys were going to run away and live on the other side of the ship. Yeah. Oh, we did. We're, uh, we're done. I got way too built up over there. Yeah. So, what's the movie today? I don't know. Oh, uh, Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chopper calling. Well, Joel, we're introducing a new feature here today. Here's a hint. Remember Lost Continent? Remember rock climbing? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who can ever forget rock climbing, huh, Clay? <laughs> Yeah. Well, now, along the same lines, we've come up with something new. Something we like to call <gasps> Sandstorm. <gasps> Sandstorm. It's all part of a new program we like to call Deep Hurting. <gasps> Deep Hurting. But that's for later. You run along and do your invention exchange, Joel. Sandstorm. <laughs> Our invention exchange is freak out. Freak out, huh? Cute, but it hardly qualifies as an invention. Oh, did I forget to mention it's all part of a kit, and with refill sets, you can make super freak out! <laughs> well, we're not much for freaking out, are we, Frank? Trails. Beautiful trails. No man is outside looking in. He'll take you up, he'll take you down. Freak out and super freak out by four dead in Ohio arts. Tin soldiers, Nixon coming so separately. What do you think, sirs? I'm a scientist. I don't think I observe. See me. Feel me. Touch me. Oh, great. You've triggered a freak out in Frank. Anyway, rock climbing was a cool groove compared to 
Sad storm. Sad storm. That's right, Joel. What Wishbone Asher is trying to tell you is that our invention exchange this week. Deep hurting. Is so beautiful, so insidious, so. That's right, that it's actually woven into the tapestry of today's experiment. Hercules against the moon man and it all culminates in deep hurting but we don't want to give too much away you run along joel push the button frank i am the button Steel is Steve Allen's pen name. You know, Kirk is just flat against any moon man. He's going up against the Unification Church, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the moon men. Filmed against the heart muscle. Oh, hold the pastels. Man, all these people are foreigners. Hey. Oh. Carla's been stealing tone polish from Stravinsky. Sounds like a dog, man. NC Stu Stu Studio. NC Stu Stu Studio. Uh. Nike, just film it. <laughs> uh, that's uh, Larry Mandela's uncle, by the way. <laughs> Free Luigi Mandela. Gentle Omo, I abhor you. Please don't make this film. That fatal night. A fiery mass dropped Ooh. from the sky onto Earth, Skylab. causing the mountain of Samar to erupt and burn everything around it, Ugh. leaving nothing but a wasteland. Really made a mess. Sad, really. Within the bowels of the mountain, a new and monstrous life was formed. Oh, gross. From that day on, the people of Samar, in order to survive, were forced to offer their children as a sacrifice huh. to the hungry mountain of death. Hey, you got change for an eight-year-old? Okay. <laughs> War comes to the land of Dairy Queen. Hi ho, hi ho, it's, it's off to death, death we go. go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, we don't want to get sacrificed today. You kids, quit whining or I'll turn this thing around. Ah, early Disney employees. Oh, not through the puddles. Oops. That's not nice. <laughs> way off to you'll be breaking down in no time jim henson's exodus babies <laughs> Hi. i am the mighty pavag please enter your pin number <laughs> oh they're taking the slaves for a drag <laughs> no we don't want to see Siegfried and roy no no Behind the green door. Ooh. Boy, those kids are really bad at tug of war. Mm -hmm. Oh, sir. And at off screen. Shouldn't they have a better loading system? I mean, it, you know. I think so. Okay, people, come on. Two, three, and step, and struggle, and step, ball, change, and struggle. Two, three, four, and death hands, people. Death hands, come on. Step, struggle, step, and change. If you think this is bad, this is only purgatory. Mm. No, you know, personally, I think they're in limbo. Rush limbo? Oh, no. That would be more like hell. Come on, move ahead. You pay at the second window. Come on. Uh-oh, uh -oh, mom's here. Run. Ah. There they go. Queen Samara, your hmm? poor people can no longer endure the endless human sacrifice you have brought. Man, on. she has huge legs. You know that I'm oh. the most oh, painful yeah. subject. And that before you, I served your late father with the same oh, devotion. Check it out, it's a life-size achievement. Listen award. to the desperate oh, cries of the oh, mothers my. of Samar, the screams of the innocent victims. But Please, don't listen Samara. to Neil Diamond. Please. You cannot, you must not allow this wanton slaughter. Okay, well, next. Old enough to remember what happened during my father's reign. Long before hey, it's Jody from Family Affair, all grown up. I remember. <laughs> Hi, Keeper. 
The fate that overtook those who dared to rebel is even worse than the destiny we face. But this has changed. Changed? Yes. There exists a man, one who's so marvelous, whose courage and whose strength have allowed him to overcome any danger that threatens. And do you think you'll be able to conquer those who reign on the mountain of death? Yes. If he were to lead us, your people would succeed in annihilation. You'll only destroy yourself. And me too. Tomorrow, my queen, I beseech you. I explore you. Know you. Only hand, so don't take it away. I command you to stop. Send for this man. He lives in Charon. Send for him before it's too late. Okay, what's his number? Your people are tired. You dare to make threats. Uh-oh. Get out or for you it'll be too late. He's a chest of drawers. Okay. <laughs> Is that my puddle? Oh. Fine jerk face. What was that? Nothing. Oh. Okay, you're shapely. Hi, I'm a chocolate bar. Break off bits of me and enjoy me all day. Wow, she looks like she was carved to go on the bow of a ship. The man from Taran is about to arrive. They must be meeting secretly. What's his name? Hercules. <laughs> yep, that's my cue. Big Alan Steele. Splash me out in the morning. Wear the great smell of me all day long. Well, he's riding on the horse's neck. It's kind of hurt. I'll be coming round the mountain when I come. I'll be coming the mountain. It's living. <laughs> his body makes me feel funny. In the big country. Stay with you. I know this next part here is a little tricky. Got to go between some trees here. <laughs> hey, he took the good tablecloth. Oh, who's the guy? And he's got big pecs, and they call him Herc. How? Huh. What? The? I must have missed the exit. But no, I don't see the highway. Hercule, 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 my backpack is filled with pecs. <laughs> you know, the best scenic overlooks are the scenic overlooks that aren't marked as scenic overlooks. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. You know, it all starts looking the same after a while. Pretty much. Oh. Mm. I hate Mondays. Ah. Oh, sorry, Herc, I tripped. I meant to do that. <laughs> hey, he's got his thong on upside oh, down. No. <laughs> Not the twins. Yeah. Oh, Rob Reiner, no! <laughs> there he goes. It's a scrum. Oh, he's wearing his swim trunks, huh? Father Murphy, no! When you're a Greek, you're a Greek all the way from your last cigarette. <laughs> Jim Cutter. <laughs> Meet Sammy Spear in his orchestra. <laughs> I enjoy being a guy, yeah. <laughs> Clean up an aisle five. <laughs> I love that one. Now then. Well... Time for my Snickers. What took you so long? I'm only kidding, Herc. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Hmm. Oh no, the smoke alarm again. Every time I heat a glazed donut in the microwave. Huh? Oh. What's oh, Hamlet's dad? Ron Phil? Oh, that's right, it's Thursday. It's a vision of a Mexican wrestler. El Santo, I'm glad you're here. The ghost of Christmas cuckoo. Failed. Hercules is alive. He escaped from the trap you set for him. He chewed his leg off. Alive. But how can he avoid death at the hands of my best soldiers? Hmm? You underestimated that man. Chop red owl. For as long as he stays alive, he remains a threat to that destiny written on the stars. We will not be able to leave the mountain and We will not be undersold. And you will not become the most powerful woman on earth. Mm. I promise you he will die. Philip. Mm. My love. Say. <laughs> uh, you told him that was a good look. I'm going to be able to meet openly in front of everyone. I'm going to speak to your sister. 
No. Not in that, you're not. Oh, no. Why are you so frightened? After your own, my family is the most noble in Samar. I've tried many times. Oh, cross your legs, please. To speak to her of my future and of our love. But I've always found Samara strangely hostile. Yeah, but what a bad... Your sister brings only sadness to everyone. That's not fair to her. Face the facts. The people are suffering. They want to free themselves from fear. They want to destroy the monsters of the mountain. And now they might be able to do it. See a drum no. major? You could wipe them mm. out. But the queen is still opposed to it. To fight against the mysterious power of the monsters. No one has ever dared to do that. I'm frightened, Derek. I'm don't frightened, worry. Derek, too. I don't intend to lose you. I love you, and I intend to marry you. As soon as possible. After I finish school. I'll speak to Samara. <coughs> Yeah. Hear me out to the end. I swear it. And if she doesn't give her consent. Oh, Darren. This is my little Never friend mind. Gorgon. Say hello to the folks, Gorgon. Hello, folks. Oh, 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 oh. Are you Hercules? I could yes. be. Who are you? What do you want? I'm to lead you to the man who's. She's a smurf. Him. All right, up with you. I think I'm sitting on the saddle horn. As a boy, you weren't very convincing. I'm Agard, daughter of Claudius. What made your father send a girl to meet me? And a child at that. I've no brothers in my father's trust yeah. on me. Oh, oh, stop talking, talking so me? fast. For the hey. cause of liberty and justice, I'm ready to do anything. Even to fight? That too, if it's necessary. Would you fight Let's me? Let's go. I'll take you into Samar by a route that only I know. By the way, do you ever bathe? Ow, 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 Pizza, pizza. <laughs> huh? It is bassoon. Come. Hey, this is nice. <gasps> it's the queen. You must hide. Uh, okay. This is wild, I swear. <laughs> hey, how long do I have to hide back here? Oops. I saw you leaving the city a day break, Agar. I'm greatly honored that my queen should take the trouble to watch over me. If I do so, it's for your own good, ma'am. The moon's on cold. And you are young. So young. You should be more prudent. Wow, smells like Gold's Gym in here. Which rhymes with... What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm. Look, it's a Mike Douglas show set. Hercules, she's gone. You can come out now. I knew that. I'm writing a spec script for Aristophanes. Let me thank you, Hercules, for answering my prayer. It was my father's friendship for you that brought me here. Did anyone see you? Mm -hmm. Neither the city nor the go, kingdom. Go, 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 but a few weeks from Samar, I was ambushed by a band of ruffians. They must have mistaken me for a rich merchant with sacks of gold. I changed their minds for them. Bandits. Haji, Johnny, race. That's strange. All the roads that lead to Samar are always carefully guarded. Did you get a chance to see who their leader was? Was it a guy with a big hat? He had a thick black beard, and there was a long, ugly scar running down his cheek. Ah, Crap like celery. Aftari. Well, who is he? One of Mogol's soldiers, and the right arm of the queen. The queen? But is she against you? Yes. I'm afraid so. Uh, Sarah, could when you get us some coffee? The king was dying. The last thing he said to me was, <coughs> Watch over Samara. Guide her. Counselor, at the time, I thought my task would be an easy one. Hmm, well, However, that... so if it... the arrogance oh, well, and I limitless would... pride, but you see, I did... that woman, I tried together to... with unrestrained ambition, but I, don't I know tried to I... induce her to rebel against oh, sure, the but it... that for years had hung I... over us. You lost me. Every third new moon, our youth is decimated by a sacrifice that's barbaric and inhuman. The next sacrifice takes place tomorrow. Hercules. Let's have cookies outside. That's why I sent for you. You've always been a great fighter in the cause of justice, and you've always been the victor. Will you lead the people of Samar? No! Oh, sorry, I mean, yes, of course. That's what I'm here for, Claudius. That, and I want to get a kick-ass tan. But you won't be alone. You will have every courageous man in the city beginning with the young Prince Darix with you, the cousin of the queen. I get it, I get it, I get it. Wow, she cleaned up real nice. Your daughter is as courageous as she is beautiful. Will Leona win the heart of Hercules? Let go, Daddy. That's enough. I would have chosen a more tranquil life for her. Without fear. Have no regrets, Father. 
Think of all the innocent lives we'll save if we win our fight. Oh, uh, yes, Hercules, but still here. In leaving the palace, it wouldn't be wise for you to take the same route by which you entered. Oh, out the back door for the hurt, huh? Away, through the secret tunnel. Follow me. Could you put some lotion on my back? There we go. Like it? I just had to put in. Don't know how I got along without it. Back here is the grill in the open fireplace. <laughs> I miss him. Well, maybe not. <gasps> A film crew. <gasps> Porky's too. Hmm. What is the moment? Shave your head and work your way north. Oh, what's that code again? Oh. Looks like they're on a Doctor Who set. Mm. So it uh, just goes on and on like this, huh? My thighs are really rubbing today. Mm, I hate this mall. You can't find anything. And then I put in this shag. I got bumper pulled in the back. Of course, Vernus put up some jam jellies and compotes. And you see your bag. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You ever get silverfish down here? We're almost there. Good. Uh, where? <sighs> they should have put the restrooms closer to the dining room. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not hard to find once you know your way around, and of course it's... Ah! Assistance, please. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, try to keep it together and present this major stage illusion. Let's oh, just keep okay. Please forgive us. We're behaving like a couple of boobs. <laughs> oh, come on, be mature. Come on. Oh, come on. It's just the name of a bird. Okay, okay. We will now perform the amazing illusion whose name we're not allowed to say. Boobie. Okay, okay. As you can see, these are real steel walls with uh, razor sharp uh, knives set in and poised and ready to pierce Joel's tender skin. Let her rip. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I actually feel not too bad, you know, from my experience with those steel knives penetrating my flesh and all. You know, it could, it could be a lot worse. Joe can test the other marker, marker and is cleared for landing on runway 32. 32. Yeah, you know, when a person goes through an experience like that, you imagine something to go wrong. I mean, you know, I'm only human, but with those knives coming in and all, not really even hurting me in the least, you'd think something would go wrong, but it didn't. Funny, really. Gear is locked, and Joel should be touching down in just a moment. Are you sure about that, Joel? Is there anything you need? Not really. I mean, I went through the experience with the knives and all, and, well, maybe a glass of water. Joke is now landing. By all means. <laughs> the joke has landed. Please remain seated with your seat in the upright position until the seatbelt light is turned off. This has been the Satellite of Love, inviting you to laugh at least once a day. It's fun. We'll be back after this word from Moody's Headache Power. Oh, I gotta take a leak! <laughs> <laughs> Joan Crawford. Nice. There she is. 
Irish Spring, Manlius, but demigods love it too. Huh? Hey, fur kills, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> Dino, no! <laughs> Oh, Hercules, he likes you. Oh, he's a good monkey monster. Oh, he's a good eat monster. Oh, it's Robert Bly. Uh, uh, huh? Big tooth. <laughs> Get your paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Or whatever you are. Young monster, you're going to the orthodontist whether you like it or not. Trumpy, you're angry. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy smells worse than I do. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Ow. Oh, now what? Look at this. Ah, it's not one thing. Will Hercules that. be able to bend the bars? Will the ape regain consciousness? Tune in again next week. You know, if he wasn't so into that frontal shop, he probably could slip through sideways if he yeah, just right. turned. Uh, it must be those new hardened steel bars. Oh, I've heard a lot about them. You know, I think this exercise is working. I can feel it here and here. Well, he's strong, bar none. Get it? <laughs> bar none. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it's a lot easier this way. Super Bob Vila. <laughs> Whoa, it's my manager. Better hide. Sounds kind of like Eraserhead. Man-made chickens, but they're new. I want to go to snow days. Just wondering. If it, oh. No, it's not like he was your dad, or right? Oops. Oh, awkward. I couldn't do anything to save him. I'll never forgive myself for it. You think it's easy to find skin bronzer in here? We were being spied on by Queen Samara. Mm. I ran after you to warn you, but Ooh. we were too. I, I think you got a deer tick there. I only Could got you grab that? time to get the last words of my father. No, Dad's a kebab. He ordered me to lead you to the rendezvous where he'd intended to take you. You must join the others so that they'll know you're still alive and won't abandon us. You know better than that. I could never abandon you, Aka. Thank you, Hercules. No, thank your you. Your shoulders rest the future of the people of Samo. I know. <laughs> I have great admiration for you. I will show you a way out of the palace that will lead us into open country beyond the city walls. Hmm. We must be very careful not to be seen. As soon as night falls, we can come back to the city. Huh? He looks like a loaf of split-top bread, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I tell my story now? Uh, uh, I was in a big wet hole, and uh, I battled a... a uh, that's okay, Herc. Just traveling along, singing a song side by side. Come on, sing. Oops. Looks like she's in Deep 13. It's a heart video. Well, around about this time, the old skunk had gotten into the pepper pot. Uh, don't light the ladder on fire, uh, Conrad Janice. <laughs> Yuck, boys. Well, made of clay. The monster's been killed and the iron bars are torn apart. But there isn't any trace of Hercules. But no one has ever gotten out of these caverns alive. That man is superhuman. With such strength, we'll never overpower him. I it's quit. Will. But it's necessary to get him alone, with none of his friends around. What friends? I know who they are. Billy Fossils. Tomorrow I'll arrange to send away Prince Derek. Swear. Quite a spark between those two. Do you have two. men you can mm -hmm. trust to follow orders implicitly? Yes. Fine. Can I borrow a couple? Where? What does it matter? Only one thing, honey. Ow! The essential thing is to keep him from coming back. And as for Hercules, I want him taken alive. He'll pay dearly for all the trouble he's caused me. Good night, Tom. The queen wouldn't deny her sister anything. I know. And I'm here to ask her for the greatest favor of my life. Everyone at court knows the only favor that will satisfy the princess Billy. Guys, I am so homesick right now. Uh -huh. What is or it? What? I must talk to you, Samara. Get out. Okay, I'll come back later. Hey, it's a Flintstone phone. I want you to promise that you'll hear me out. I'll hear you out that door is what I'll do. Haven't I always done so? Marlo Thomas is that queen. Don't you really believe I'm fond of you? Oh, don't say that, Samara. Even if we didn't have the same mother, you've always been a perfect sister to me. Hmm. And I'm grateful. Hmm. I want it to be perfectly clear 
that my attitude is dictated solely by my affection for you. Of course. And because of that affection, you could make me the happiest woman in the world. Samara, Prince Darix loves me. And if you'll only give your consent, we'll be married immediately. It's like this movie's equipped with airbags. We love each other. Sorry, sorry. You can't refuse. Oh. Of course not. How could I refuse you? No, 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 in no, fact, no. I want you to marry. But not as soon really as you I would do. like. Oh, Samara. Why are you making us wait? It's been my intention for a long time now to send Prince Darix to the court of Karim to conduct secret negotiations. Uh, back in the frame, on please. On a matter of the greatest delicacy. Toilet paper. But he'll be back soon. And you'll live happily ever after. The oh, end. Thank you. Thank you, dear sister. Um, leave he'll the ring, please. He'll be first thing tomorrow morning. Though he'll be away from you, it won't be for very long. Don't see that with an evil queen. I'm so happy. No, 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 no. Not for long. <laughs> Claudius is dead. Hercules has disappeared. And I'm out of here. The only hope we had. There's nothing left to do. You can talk that way because you don't have children. But if you had a daughter like my child, you'd understand the anguish that a mother feels when the moon is full and you know they're coming to take her away to the sacrifice. It's Lee Merriweather. My wife is right. Mickey, we can't bear Mickey living Moore. this way. And friends, you're the only one who's been to the top of the mountain of death. Tell them what happened to you there. Speak out. Tell us whether ordinary men can overcome the monsters. I saw the mountain open up miraculously, and I was bathed in a blinding green light. It was then great. Then huge, deformed, rock-like creatures appeared. And at the same time, I was deafened by a weird sound that seemed to come from the depths of the earth. After that, I don't remember anything. I was so terrified, I was gone my senses. <laughs> I came to after a while, and I found I was alone. Your experience only confirms the fact that it will not be easy for us to win. I think it's useless. Harvey Corman! Hey. Only Hercules can fight the monsters with any chance of surviving. All I can say is this. Roddy McDonald! I swear to you that I'm not influenced by any personal ambition. The only thing I want is to liberate Sama from the nightmare that's oppressing us. And to direct. Then my wife and I will go away. Asking nothing, expecting nothing. Lee Majors, okay. ladies and gentlemen! My name is Timor. And it's on the list of those who have been selected as victims for the sacrifice. Yeah, boo. But I prefer to die in combat with the monsters if my death will help to liberate Sam. Robert Stan. Quiet. Don't let them hear you. Uh, <coughs> Ixnate. <coughs> uh, we were doing nothing. It's Clavius. He started it all. Paul Sorvino. Wow. Hey, woo. Hey, Agar with the friend. Agar? Marlo Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Marlo Thank you. Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's Hercules. He's got I'm the glad you're with us, Satan. A worry for you. With you leading us, we will win. Let me present Prince Tax. Prince Tax? I don't know. Oh, very highly of you, Prince. Oh. We'll get along well together. Sure. My uh, friend, Herc, you got hat hair. I know of the tragic destiny that hangs over you. But what would happen if one day the people of Samar were to refuse to send the sacrificial victims to the monsters in the mountain? I think it would go something like this. I never thought the time would come when I would greet you with such joy and in the same breath have to say goodbye. Watch and you'll see that my horse will fly on the wind like Pegasus. Take care of yourself and come back soon. When can I hope to see you again? In a few days. Soon? Have you spoken of us to Queen Samara? Yes, when she was giving me the instructions for the mission I'm to carry out for in Corum, she made several references to our marriage plans. Stay just you in this. But the way your sister spoke, it seems she has no objections. And sending me off as her ambassador. With such good faith. Well, now you're the most important relative of the queen. Oh, right. you really think so? It's late, and I must go. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Come, Come on, on, kiss her. Oh, Why don't you kiss her instead of talking her to death? Could you have a platonic relationship with Plato? Mm. Uh, she's all gassed up, sir. I vacuumed the inside, too. Oh! oh. <laughs> I have regular go. saddles with blankets thrown over them. Oh. Have fun storming the castle. Derek has been sent away on orders from the Queen. Yes. Slumber party. I might have known she'd do something like that. What are you trying to say? These I don't toast. wish to alarm you, Billis. But I think it's necessary you be told. The Queen's aware that Derek's is taking part in the conspiracy. Oh, but you think he's in danger? Yes, I think he's walking into a trap. Oh, Agar. Come. Don't give up, Hope Princess. Come with me. I know a man who's powerful enough to help us both. And I'm sure he won't refuse you. He's really reasonable and won't charge for the extras. Oh, Rick's playing cartoon tag over there. 
They're devolving. Ooh. Isn't he worried dirt's going to stick to all that oil he's got on? Along that road, they take the victims to the sacrifice. Beyond those woods and the river is the mountain of death. Let's buy a pass so we can go on all the rides. Hercules! Oh, I thought you were out of town this weekend. Up oh, Zeus is on line three. You want I to take him? If the tavern, you'd be here. The Princess Billis needs your help. At your service. The Queen has sent Darix away on a mission to Cora. It's only a pretext. She found out that Darix is one of the conspirators. Timar, get my horse, fast. Get my fast horse. Darix is already on the road to Cora. Yes. He left about an hour ago. Well, oh, hi. You had better go back to the palace, Princess. And don't be afraid. Okay. Even if it costs me my life, Darix will be saved. Hercules. Oh, please don't go to any trouble for us. I give him three months. Herc, would you help us move? Even if it costs my life. I trust you to get them safely back to the city. Even if it costs you my life. Oh, never mind. Yeah, now Herc will go to a bar for a few hours and say he couldn't find him. Right. <laughs> she was calling wildfire. down there. Thundering hoofbeats in a mighty high ho silver. Hurdy, hurdy. No, it's a clip. Trot, no, it's really more of a canter, but a not canter. quite a gallop. It's trotish, though, I mm -hmm. think. Kind of a light. Whoa, whoa. Should get four-wheel drive next time, Tom. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Got it. Oh, it's an arrow shirt mm -hmm. you're wearing. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Bet that horse has no name. Just drop me anywhere. Ouch. Oh, I'm a Grimwald warrior. Stop hurting him. He's my friend. <laughs> Crazy bread, crazy bread. I arrived just in time, Prince. But that's a matter of opinion. Don't worry about that. We've got to think about your wound. I can't think of anything else. That arrow's really in deep. Oh, you think so? At nightfall, I'll get you safely into the city. Oh! Oh, please. Was that a traveling mat? No, it's a crappy special effect. Oh, I'm a traveling mat. I've made a lot of stops. Forget me, Father, for all I think about is sinning. We're ready Aid Vagoda, ladies and gentlemen. Sleeping. Sleeping like a baby after that draft you had prepared for her. The horses are ready. No one will see us. Let us go. Dillis. Schlafly. Dillis is in danger. This man is missing a nipple. Don't drip on the carpet. Saber. Ah, the stain's not going to come out. We're going to have to go to the dry cleaner. The night of the sacrifice. The... Am I going to make it? Doc. 
Will I still be able to play piano? The queen. Watch out for her. The dwarf. You're delirious. Leave him to me, Hercules. I know certain herbs that can Herb cure you in a wound like this. Herb Edelman? Yeah. Herb can? <laughs> Are you absolutely sure that he was attacked on orders from the queen? Yes, I am. Mm. They were her soldiers. What is it that's turned her against even her most faithful subjects? I think she's been reading the op-ed page. And explain why she's so anxious to get me. The queen didn't even know me. She didn't know I was coming here. But then she saw but your press pack, her. She me murdered on the highway. And then she nearly caught me. Oh, he's putting Crisco on the, the moon. Yeah. How could she always guess where I'd be? The people say she has powers that are supernatural. Mm. She possesses a magic powder which causes any man who takes it to look at her through the eyes of love. They say she's never mm. without it. She carries it in a gold locket around her neck. Mm. Well, that's useful to know when I eventually come face to face mm. with Queen Samara. <laughs> Okay, you're all done. Now listen, don't take any food or water for the next three hours, all okay. right? Wow, Rico is suave over there. Why, thank you, my good fellow. I say, you're looking rather Jean-Claude Van Damme yourself. Huh? You really think so? Mm. You know, inside every servo is an Alan Steele waiting to get out. Okay, okay, Joel, ask me which way to the beach. Oh, that just way. hold it a second, my beefy bots. You need one more accessory to really augment your ensemble. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Say what? Yeah, you need a new name that's as Big and brawny as your new upper body implants. All right. Well, what good is a tough guy without a tough guy name? Yeah, exactly. You know, the general rule of thumb is that you take a, uh, have a real virile first name like Alan, and then uh, a second name that sounds like some kind of hard surface, like Steel, Alan Steel. You get oh, it? Oh, I get it. Uh, okay, my new name is Drake Tungsten. Good. And you have to call me that, too. Okay, okay, okay. I dub me Russ Tile Floor. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if that really works, because that makes your middle name Tile, and you'd have to put in quotation marks or parentheses or something. Oh. Yeah, and then that would make your last name Floor, which really isn't all that great. Okay, okay, how about this? Rick, R-I-C, Drywall. Rick Drywall. Yeah. Well, Drywall really isn't that, uh, I mean, it's, it's not like, you know, concrete or uh, something. Yeah, Crow's right. Uh, Drake. Uh, Drake's okay, right. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, hey, Tom, how about... Uh, Adam Plexiglass. Yeah, or uh, Vic Kevlar. Nick Pig Iron. Well, just forget it, okay? Jim J. Bullock. Now, that's not uh, funny. Just drop the whole thing. Just drop it now, okay? Well, listen, maybe you could be one of those tough guys without a tough guy name, like Sylvester Stallone or something. Oh, don't patronize me, Joel. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Tom, I hate to tell you, but you're, you just rejected your donor limbs. I know that. Don't you think I know that? I'm living it. I know it. I'm here. I'm living it. <laughs> hey, hey, Servo, I, I just thought of a good name for you. Really? What? Danny? No arms. Let me out! <laughs> I'll move the dead guy, you get the door. Open. Sesame. My daughter. Your daughter what? Stay calm. Go on, go on. Bako? Who is it? I'm doing the dishes. Jeezer, Jeezer. to resist. We're here to take your daughter. Where is she? Oh. No! Oh, I think she's over there somewhere. She's the girl! No, no, no. All right, help yourself. Okay, but you have to have her home by 11. Let go of that girl! You can't take her! Watch me rock. Oh, Ooh, good thing they made everything in a balsa with back then, huh? Oh, right in the store. Oh, owie. Hmm. That's a barrel of fun! <laughs> barrel of fun. Now there's two guys in there. I keep off. <laughs> oh, batter up. Jim Cotton. Boss Martin. Jim Cotton. Oh, needs. Oh, flamer. 
I love my job. <laughs> pizza, pizza, this. Hercules. Here? There's no time to be wasted. They'll be returning with reinforcements. We must find a safe place for Derek's. I know a place where he can hide. That one was just for me. Someday that's gonna be a mall. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice one. Hercules! Oh, that's me. Uh, here, hold this guy, will you? I'll be right back. Listen, I know I said I'd call, but I was attacked by guards and then... Oh. Phyllis has been taken. I saw her in chains with the other prisoners. Go on ahead. They're on the march? Yes. But don't go now. You can't do anything alone. I beg you, wait for the others. No, that might be too late. What would become of me if anything should happen to you? <laughs> don't worry. There are other demigods out there. Hello, Levine. Hi, Cheryl. Looks like they bagged their limit today, huh? Well, I guess what they say about lemmings isn't true. Really forced bussing. Chain, 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 chain of food. <laughs> you know, it's never as fun as it looks in the brochures. <laughs> I hate these cattle calls. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like somebody got beer on the film. Oh. So I said, why don't you try pushing the rope? Okay, I'll be the slave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't this a drag, folks? <laughs> Ooh, a little pun there for the chain gang. Hey, I'm not enjoying this. It's my job. Tristar Pictures, there. Good one. Okay, sit, stay. That's a good horse. Oh, such a good horse. Oh, yes. Ooh. I could have gone my whole life without seeing that. Little genie, I want to dance with somebody. You've been resisting for 300 miles. Now, come on! Uh, we're planning to move the sacrifice area closer to the city. Those torops are rather harsh, aren't they? They're in a, starting to feel like Bob Mantel. Boing, 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 boing. Bing, bing. Hmm, man, I'm stuck jelly tight in this thing. Here they come. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday to oh. <laughs> so they're dragging them along, eh? Yes. Jeez, these guys are getting harder to pull. The bad news is the chief wants to water. <laughs> oh, 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 Come here. Leave them alone, you big bullies. Come, princess. But you're not Dennis. Well, you're not Steve Reeves. Oh, no, it's a giant Joe Namath netted slingshot brief. Oh, wait, he, he can bend steel, but he can't break through a net? We've got you at last. Ah, uh, Hercules. Next week on Hercules versus the Moon Men. Please do not touch the exhibit. It's Kim Cattrall. Oh, no. Where? There is nothing wrong with your television set. Hmm. And there's Marsha Brady. Oh, it's... Yeah. I'm next to the mud bath. You see? Oh, not this guy again. I was having a moment. You're absolutely identical. That is why I ordered you to bring Check the princess. Looks like the great root bear, doesn't it? Queen Selena will awaken from her long sleep. 
and will live again through the blood of Billis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my own sister, you brought me here to kill me. How could you be such a monster? Oh, come on, we've never been that close. But it isn't true. Samara! Look I into you. your heart! Samara! Samara! I love you, Samara! <laughs> no! Hey, Hakiba! Whoa! No! The Monsters of Rock Tour! Wanna get stoned? <laughs> Everybody must get stoned. <laughs> Stead? It's the Inhumanoids! Sorry I had to see that there. The sacrifice will take place tomorrow night. Behold, Bring a dish to pass. When the planet Saturn comes into conjunction with Mars, and under the evil influence of Uranus... Oh, he means Tuesday. ...then will occur unimaginable disasters. The oceans will rise, Ooh. the mountains crumble, and inexorably our moon will draw near the Earth. Oh, they would have done that anyway. Yeah. Through this cataclysm, only our form of life can survive. Oh. After the long night of sleep, I can see his lips move. we shall become the masters of the Earth. Does that make me Mrs. Master of the Earth? Well, how shall I live then? Yeah, uh, I'll check the manual. You will have the reward you have earned. It's a new kind! Your beauty will never fade, and your power will be equal to ours. You will possess all the riches of the world. Hmm, cool. But remember that there is still one task you must carry out. Kill Hercules. Oh. Have no fear. Underdog is here. In my hands. He will die. Hmm. Hi. Oh. I do this all the time. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> Hi, Hercules. Aren't you going to wave to me? Oh, oh. Don't wave. Good thing they left space for his hands. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, oh. oh, there you go. That's the way. Hit in the face. Hit. Hit. It's still fun and still smiling. <laughs> you see? Dang me. Dang me. Oh, oh, take a rope and hang me. Come on, sing. Break time. Yeah. Gregory Pecks. <laughs> oh, so the spikes are going to stab him if he lets go. I just got it. Oh. Oh, nipple cam. Ooh. Hmm? Bonnie Raitt. She's a survivor, you know. So, he's really strong? Mm -hmm. huh. A piercing problem. Will Hercules escape? Tune in next week. Same Herc time, same Herc channel. Uh, could somebody scratch my nose? For sale or rent, rent. rooms to let. <laughs> Bet those things are hard to clean. Well, actually, no, they fold down. There's a nice, convenient brush. Well, you know, the machine doesn't see Hercules the way you or I do. The machine sees Hercules as a series of ones and zeros. I, I, I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, it's getting close. Ooh. It's indicating his pecs. Bronzer, check it out. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Please. Please, God, I'm, if you get me out of this, I promise I'll do anything you want, I promise. Tickle, tickle. Uh, uh, timey kangaroo. Down. You know, if you squint real hard, it looks like he's being stuck with several mm -hmm. Transamerica boulders. Headache. Tension. Sending you good vibes, Herc. I am. Hey, I'm gaining on him. Huh. Wee! Wee! Stop! In the name of love. So, lunch? Conduct him to my quarters. 
Oh, look, a smoky Joe. Oh. Very oh. funny, guys. All of you go. But why are you laying like that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Huh. Cheap cuffs. Here, let me just. A hundred lances pointed at your heart. Just one little gesture from me, and you would have been lying at my feet. Mm. A dead man. Well, I could still lie at your feet if you want me to. But I prefer the challenge you offer a lot. <laughs> I don't think you are strong enough to crush me. I'm Hans Christian Andersen. But it's worth the risk. Why, all you'd have to do is reach out a hand. I'm just kidding. And break my neck the way you break the stem of a flower. You are one spooky chick. Why don't you do it? You have nothing to fear from me. But fear itself. Now that I've seen you, I can no longer rebel against you. Sir? I want to stay with you. It's Hercules who asks this. No slave is as faithful as I would be. Mm. It's Daddy. Come on, me, Herc. <sighs> Let me close the drapes here. Put on the stereo. I am always getting into these situations. Call it Life of Riley. Hmm? Flat point. Flat point. Flat point. Flat point. Come, Hercules. Come and drink to our friendship. Hmm, now you would assume that I would think that the poison was in this cup. We'll toast our union, the strongest force in the world. I want the Garfield cup. You don't cup. know what the future has in store for us. But you'll never be sorry that you've taken your place at my side. Mm, his lips are strong, too. Um. My queen. Get out. I'm sorry, Majesty, but it's urgent. Wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Uta Hagen, I guess. Uh, good, Herc. Good. Mm, Herc, very sleepy. Must get shut eye. I'm so sleepy, I can barely keep awake. Hmm, now I think I'll dress him up a bit. Hmm. Well, who's Bongo. next on my list? Garrix is alive. And well, and living in Paris. He was rescued by Hercules, who fell upon us and massacred the entire escort. Where's Derek now? I don't know, my queen. I was badly wounded, but I managed to drag myself here. To tell her you failed in your mission? Execute him. No! Ooh, no! Harsh. No! Derek's free means trouble for us. We must capture him. That's not difficult. All we have to do is follow Agar. And follow our bliss. You thought you could trick Samara, but I'm too clever. And at last you wake up, you'll be my most faithful slave. You know, all these movies revolve around Herc sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's because he can remember how to do it. Why is he laying on a big cupcake wrapper? He's cream filled. Oh. Herc, you scamp. You know, I've been to paradise, but I've never been to me. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice no. digs. Fluff these up, sit back. Just wait for the chicks to roll in. Life of Riley. <laughs> yep, life of Riley. Mm. It's good. You've dared to conspire against me. You've helped our enemies, and you've fallen in love with Hercules. Good job, McLeod. I have to punish you with death for this, but too much blood has already been shed. And now that Hercules is in my power, you no longer represent any danger to us. Get out. I banish you from Samar. Leave my kingdom forever. You're fired. Clean out your dress. No way to banish her. <laughs> You're great.
It's the shiny little oh. tiny with the fringe on the top. <laughs> Stress. No, you mustn't. Your wound hasn't healed, and where would you go? The minute you go outside, they'll capture you. Timor, you've already taken great risks, and I'm very grateful. Iron my pants, will you? But I cannot wait any longer. Oh, please, here, put your top on. You'll feel better. Phyllis has completely disappeared. Hercules is in the dungeons, and there's no news from Agar. There, doesn't that make Perhaps it nice? she's also in the hands of the queen. Well, who hasn't been Soon in the hands be of the night. queen? And I must talk to our friends. Now, come on. See how weak you are. I'll go myself. Just tell me what to say. Timor, it's Agar. Open up. Ah. No lousy Jehovah's Witnesses. Here, wait a minute. I'll get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, hi, look. We just sat down to breakfast. Oh. Aga, we thought you were... Yes, but I was sent into exile. We must try to save Hercules. And Billis? She wasn't among the other victims. Where is she? I don't know. Hercules was trying to find her. Ah! Oh. Delphon, LAPD. Just so 6 Maple? Oh, gee, I got the wrong address, sorry. Meanwhile, in Hef's Grotto... Come here, young children, and bring me your wine. Poor wine. bitter dregs. Send them away. Now, bring them back. <laughs> I love it when you do that. Bye. Is that a polar bear rug? Oh, uh, no, it's his horse. <laughs> Because I wanted to be alone with you. Because I want to know what makes you, Queen Samara, tick. <laughs> hey, you taste like Steve Reeves. Mm. Mm. Samara, you told me many marvelous things. You told me a fabricated story that wouldn't convince a child. You said that at your side, I would become the most powerful man in the world. Yet nice pose. You never explained how these things would Hey, Herc, James Brolin wants his beard back. After tonight, you'll know the answer. I don't understand how in the space of a few hours you can change our destiny. What can happen of such great importance? You must have faith in me. Tonight you'll be at my side and you'll know. You'll be able to see with your own eyes that I've told you the truth. I thought with my own eyes. What a dumb expression. The important thing now is that you tell me you love me. On our first date? Ouch. I love you, Samara. And you never loved anyone else as much? No. Well, I had a dog once, but... Do you think I wear too much makeup? <laughs> uh. Oh, J.P. Morgan Gonder. Oh. My blankie. You know them? Yes. They were the ones who tried to set me against you. And she? Wasn't she your friend? Friend? She's just a girl who took me in like the others. How can you betray us? I told you that you were completely in my power, didn't I? And I also ordered you to get out of my kingdom. And Isaac Hayes wants his vest back. What sentence shall I decree for him? Hmm, something crunchy. The death penalty. All around, on the house. A slow death. Uh -uh. Let them die of starvation. Give them plenty of time to regret having taken up arms against you. Me. This isn't you. It's not possible. He's right. Take them away and see that the orders are carried out. Right, two slow deaths coming up. Hey, Bob, we need two slow deaths. Wreck them. Snaggletoothy. Listen to me. I understand your doubts because I share them. Did you think I was naturally a warlike spirit? Well, yes. I'm only a tavern keeper. But also I know that this is the moment for us to stand up like men or we'll never know what it is to be free men again. Uh, and just what do you expect us to uh, do? They know who we are and soon they'll be coming here to arrest us. Timor has been killed. Derek's is in the hands of the queen and we don't even know whether Hercules is alive. Hercules isn't a man to let himself be put out of the way that easily. I agree with Tertius. I have a son. I don't know whether he's dead or alive. But that doesn't change anything. Let me in, I say. Orders are orders. Soldier. You can let him in, Raynon. Chong. An officer of the Royal Guards. Can we get some service here? Rubio, what are you doing here? I know just what you and your companions are plotting to do, and it would have been very easy for me to have taken you by surprise and have you put to death. It's Chandelorian. Let me join you. The army is with me. 
We must fight together against no, no, Bogle no, no, and the no, no, household no, 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 guard. Are you serious? You who have sworn a military oath? No. no man of honor can be tied by an oath that requires that he cover himself with shame. Certainly not. What's I'm more, my not. soldiers are men of the people like you. They're women of the people. And they also right. have women and children to defend. Right. He's right. Come on, man. Yes. Storm the palace. Right. Killing's okay. Yeah. Let's go storm the palace. Come here, Hercules. 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 Look at that. A ceiling fan? Oh, come on. Let's love. It's from the moon that my power will come. From the moon? What do you mean? Now that I'm really sure of you, <laughs> I'm able to tell you. You're greasy. For many years, my ancestors were sorcerers to the monsters of the mountain. But I've gone even further. I'm their ally. Jeez, and I made love to you? you? Allied with them? Yes. Ooh. They are powerful, Hercules. But despite their power, Without me, they're helpless. What help could you give to them? Except 401k, to the health plan, the usual. I gave them Billis. Yikes, I can Good just imagine what you've given me. Stone men. Her sacrifice will revive Selina, their queen. Where is Billis? In the mountain of death. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to find out. What are you saying? You thought you had me under your spell, but your magic filter didn't work on me. I knew what I was doing all the time. And now I must liberate Derek's and Agar. Yes. Oh, she got one of those, huh? I hate that. Ah, crap. I sang like a bird. Grab the gust to her life. Herc's way. Now, back to what I love. This is what I was built for, not figuring out secret passages or good old fashioned violence. Yep. <laughs> Back in town. Me next, me next. Twirl me, twirl pizza, me. Pizza, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> You've been gone. <laughs> now, this, this is something I'm good at. Let's face it. This is my strong suit. Hey, I'm no Rhodes Scholar, but I have a real knack for this sort of thing. I'm glad I chose kicking butt as a career. <laughs> now, back to some fun, huh? Come on, join me. Ah, there we go. Let's dance. <laughs> He's doing the haymaker! No. Yeah! Hey. Well, I guess you won't be needing that. <laughs> going into the dungeon! Hmm? Ouch. Sorry, you can't get in without a backstage pass. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, do you have a bobby pin? I can't go. Wilma! I know you weren't a traitor. Let's roll. <laughs> Sent? Hurry. You mustn't get out of the palace alive. Kill him. Joel, I hate movies where the men wear shorter skirts than the women. Boy, don't you know? I can just imagine a common scene from the days of ancient Greece. Oh, hi, Hercules. Have a seat. No, 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 no. You are so right, little Lizzie, buddy. Hey, Cam, I cue up the music. That's why we put together a little musical presentation honoring one of our favorite garments. It's a little thing we like to call pants. 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 Sing the praises of pants. Nothing better shows my taste than what I wear below my waist. Say, pants. <laughs> pants. Sing the praises of pants. They help me suck in my gut. They always cover up my butt. Oh, pants. Pants. Sing the praises of pants. Wear them and you're a cool guy as long as you zip up your fly. Zip pants. Sing the praises of pants. That's 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Consider the pants. You know, the Pant Association urges you to wear your pants at least three times a day. The great men of our time have all worn pants. Roosevelt, Churchill, De Gaulle, Gandhi. Well, well almost all of them. <laughs> Dolphins, one of the smartest mammals on Earth. Do they wear pants? No, but they wish they did. That's how smart they are. What keeps our legs all warm and hot? Pants. What prevents a buffalo shot? Pants. pants. What have they got that I ain't got? Pants. pants. Oh, you can say that again, and... Huh? Pants. Mm, pants. Yang da yang da yang da yang da pants. Yang da yang da da da. Deep hurting. Deep hurting. Go ahead and sing, panty waist. In a moment, you're going to be knee deep in sand, and then it'll be Joel Robinson, R.I.P. Rest in pants. <laughs> Hold it, you're, you're locking it from your side. Wait, I'll open it in a minute. Gee, call in Stanley, the garage door opener. <laughs> oh. How a little fire, Scarecrow. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on, you're only making it worse for yourself. I'm Hercules! Howie. My name is Amigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You die, Joe. <laughs> oh. oh, geez, that was really dumb. What was I thinking? Good one, Hercules. Hey. Uh. This is wild. I've never killed a guy like this before. Neat. Oh, they want an encore. Oh, it's the open auditions for Torch Song Trilogy. Is already on the way. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, guys, you know, this movie's uh, pretty bad, but it's nothing we can't handle. Yeah, I don't know what that whole deep hurting stuff was about. Yeah, what... It's okay, be cool. It's just another scene. Let's just rip like normal. Okay, Nothing really? to worry about. Dorothy. I'll leave. Oh, okay. Dorothy! What was that? That's good. It, it was after the apocalypse. They had to get to the power station. They weren't prepared for the good robot holocaust. Good. <laughs> good. How about this? Americus. Dune. Desert planets. Mm-hmm. We're doing it. Okay. Oh, boy. She could really use a dust buster. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Kind of looks like uh, downtown St. Mm -hmm. Paul after mm -hmm. 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. She's wearing hair epoxy because it's wind tunnel tested. Oh. <laughs> Everyone, Everyone knows, knows it's, it's windy. windy. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Well, this is kind of like seeing bad performance art. Oh, like seeing performance art, in other words. Ooh, Ouch. stingy. Hmm. Oh, so what's the Pope doing here? Oh. My Red Rover, Red Rover, let Moon Men come over. Red save me. In a moment, Hercules will be here. You betrayed us. You be 40. You be Blake. It's clobbering no. time. No! No, don't kill me. I didn't betray you. I'm the one who's betrayed. No! No! We will, we will Redolphin, rock you. Help. <laughs> Save me! No! No! It's Stonehenge on ice. Oh, help! Hmm. Save me! Madonna, stop them! No! Oh, no, no not the Rock'em Sock'em no. Robux! They're gonna knock my block off! No. Oh, how humiliating. No. She's being killed by a patio. Oh. Well, those things are great because you can hose them right off. Oh, no. oh, no. Joel, I'm getting nervous about this sandstorm thing. Don't worry, little buddy. Just keep the quips coming. We'll be okay. Okay. Oh, this is like a bad Antonioni movie. Like an Antonioni movie, in other words. Oh. Boy, jeez, I wish I had my shirt on. Now my nips are burning. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, pardon me. Selena. Selena. Come on, get up. We're going to At Grandma's last, now. Your hour has come. I've got to go lend my outfit to Aman or David Bowie. Ooh, he's cutting her with a pizza knife. Oh. Mm. Pizza, pizza. Alvin! Chicago style. Ouch. Yeah, I hate that part of my job. What? 
Oh, cripes. I should really get that leak fixed up there. Well, the chibi pop's done. And yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Drop by drop, this blood will bring you back to life, Ugh. my queen. Oh, she's packing Excelsior. Follow me! No! Oh, 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 Joel, it's a sandstorm! Sandstorm, guys. Sandstorm. Yeah. Sandstorm. Couldn't just one person have gone and reported back? This is what they get for going to Kansas during tornado season, huh? Come on, Yikes. And do the locomotion with me! But the Berenstain Bears could find nowhere to picnic, so... Quick, before the film starts again! Ooh. Come on, keep moving! Hurry, we're losing all the topsoil! There goes Nebraska! I tell you, when Herc breaks wind, everybody Ooh. suffers! <laughs> Sorry. We should have checked the Weather Channel! Well, this is really killing time. I could figure we can do three or four more minutes. What do you think, huh? Maybe? Oh, so I'm an axe-wielding maniac! And he's dancing like he never danced before! Hey, moon over Parador there. So this is Chicago, huh? Shoot, I lost my contact. Everybody, stop where you are. Don't stop. Uh, somebody's having their blood pressure checked. <laughs> it's icky. Oh, Louise Brooks. I think there's a short in the fan. Welcome to the crypt. I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Shut up. Kind of like a freaked out view master. Nice. We now return to endless summer. I think I'll let's break this for the heck of it. There we go. It's mad. This is like an outward bound weekend gone horribly wrong, isn't it? Right. Well, this is what they get for trying a shortcut. Well, these are the outtakes from here to eternity, I think. No, Joel, this is just eternity. You're right. It's like true grit. Ooh. Boy, imagine what it would be like if something were happening. Deep. Look, all the hair's been blasted off Hurt's chest there. Mm -hmm. oh, what do you know? That's enough. We've had it with the sandstorm sequence. Easy, Joel. Easy. Now, <sighs> oh, for crying, they're up around the same set again. <sighs> well, you know, the man said this was going to be bad, and you know what? Hmm. They're right. They yeah, suck. Yeah. Damn you. Come on. Get, let this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Buck up. Hey. None of us can go on any further. We'll meet you there. We'll get a table. We'll order you a sandwich. Oh. <laughs> oh. Please run this scene. Please, oh, please, run please. It's okay, buddy. Oh, please, Let please, it out. Please, oh, Let it out. That's good. <laughs> we got problems too, lady. Help the bombardier. I am the bombardier. Well, then help him. Guys, I think I'm giving in to deep hurting. No, 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 Joel. I, I got an idea. Let's sing, sing song, okay? Okay. Row, uh -huh. row, row your boat gently row, down the sea. Merrily, 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 Come on, sing. We don't want to. Oh, come on, sing. I said sing, damn it, sing. Row, 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 row your boat. Come on, come on, sing. 
Come on, you guys. No, come on. on. Come on. We can, we can make it if we can resume what? riffing. Okay. Come on. Okay. I never should have gone to the Sands Hotel. Good, good. <laughs> Keep it coming. Uh, there's going to be rock climbing. No, oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. Oh, oh. Don't bend over. Don't bend oh. over. Please oh. don't. Oh. Oh. Thanks for turning around, Herc. You're a real gentleman. Appreciate it. Oh, we're going to make it, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, oh, that's the spot. That feels good. Uh, yeah. All right, this is uh, taking kind of a Herculean effort for him, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> Boy, that's I better. shouldn't have ever taken that week off from the gym. <laughs> it's getting hot. Uh, please. The burning. The itching. Try Cruex. Dolly painting. Well, I could watch that all day. Well, here comes someone who can help you. Why is he wearing oven mitts? See you on the dull side of the moon. <laughs> plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Mr. Yuck is green. I'd say a little more blush and a little less bronzer for her. Mm -hmm. Kind of a fall look. Meanwhile, two hours later. <laughs> no! Oh, no! 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 This is like the planet of 98 pound weaklings. Everyone gets sand kicked in their face. Perhaps we'll find her on the mountain of death. Come on. Come on, even though he's gone, we can still make this movie dull. Come on, he would have wanted it that way. Who are they talking about? I think they should just call the school picnic off, don't you? This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Yeah, I was looking for the ultimate wave and I found it on Death Mountain. Perfect wave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, steaming mad at this movie. Weather started getting rough. The tiny <laughs> ship was. Hmm? Oh. Used to do a sandstorm anymore. Oh, I've seen dogs do that on the driveway. Ooh. I... Ooh. Hmm? Oh, I should have brought my totes. Oh my goodness, it's the great urinal cake. Nine. Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. Why do I hurt inside? Page 54. When will this stupid movie end? Page 38. How much money can we get out of Tom Cruise? Page 25. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Neat. Ah, I told you you'd come crawling back to the Herc. <laughs> The world is having a Maalox moment. I guess so. Hmm. Well, I gotta hand it to those mad scientists. This was one of the worst sequences and one of the worst movies we've ever seen. <sighs> well. Just set myself anywhere. Hmm. Oh, you know, this is like the scene in Dune, you know, when the Imperial yeah. Doctor comes crashing down and Paul and Jessica are stranded, and yeah. Jessica says, Yui, Yui, and the Undeaths were not enough for Yui, yeah. and then they gotta get the drums in, and the, side, the thumper, and the drum to the rooms, yeah, never mind. It's a woman in the dunes. It's right. a cowgirl in the sand. Oh. oh, I'm gonna make a castle, that's what I'll do. Oh, brother, really long, pointless scene back there. Whoa, staggering. Get a piece of this rock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sticks and
and stones. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, right in the stones. I like that. <laughs> kind of like he's trapped in a giant foosball table, isn't it? <laughs> Gumby, no! Martini and Rossi on the rocks. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> really cute. Huh? Yeah. Here we come. Walking Rock down, down the street. The street. Yeah. Oh. Is that his butt? Oh. <laughs> She's lying in Gainsborough. Oh, yeah. hmm. In that order? Well, you guys are rock stupid. <laughs> I slay me. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him pick you up over his head. Oh, it all looks so good. I don't know where to start. Uh, Jakarta. Uh, don't make me laugh, Woodsy Owl. Get out of here. My name is Hercules, and I'm a rockaholic. Hi, Herc. Crunchy. There we go. Help me, Great Root Bear. It's like they're being attacked by Mont Saint Michel. Mm -hmm. You hold, hold up a minute, guys. I'll be with you in a second. I'm still awake. I, yeah, I am too. What you thinking, bud? Hey, that's obscene. Oh, why? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Stonehenge. This film has aged me. I know how she feels. Mm -hmm. She means cherry blossoms. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Do you really have to leave us, Hercules? Mm -hmm. Yes, Prince. I may be needed in some other part of the world. You know how it Nellis is being the Herc and all. Hope that Agar can persuade you to stay. Can I persuade Agar to share the risks I will surely encounter? Touche. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. For the rest of my life. But they're not married. Oh. is filthy. Yeah. It's going to get uncomfortable up there. Hercules will be back in Herc Goes Bananas. Oh, I hope not. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Joel, it bothers me when they switch actors on us. Yeah. Hercules Unchained had Steve Reeves, and now Hercules Against the Moon Men has Alan Steele. What happened? I know, you have to kind of squint and tilt your head a little to make Alan Steele look like Steve Reeves. Steve's <laughs> more shiny. Right, that's yeah. exactly right. Well, actually, it happens quite often. You know, the uh, movie industry is so bloated and sluggish, it takes years for a, a sequel to even a popular movie to get made. Ouch. Yeah, and uh, what happened was Steve Reeves did so well in Hercules Hercules Unchained, he probably came back to the studio asking for a lot more money. They couldn't meet his price. Enter oh. Alan Steele. Oh. Yeah, we call that the Wayne Rogers Syndrome. The Wayne, Wayne Rogers Syndrome? Yeah, exactly. It's an old adage in Hollywood. When you're doing a remake of a movie for television and you can't get the film actor to do it, you call Wayne Rogers. Oh, you mean like when he replaced Elliot Gould for the TV version of MASH? Exactly. Right, or when he replaced Donna Reed in the TV version of It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, it's complicated when you're older. Oh. Uh, don't forget him trying to erase the memory of Walter Matthau in the TV remake of House Calls. Oh, yeah. oh and then he grew 
swamp and became Pernell Roberts. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Gypsy, did you realize that Walter Pigeon was the original Admiral Nelson in the film version of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? No way! Not Richard Basehart. No! Yeah. no! Bro, you are so cruel. So, letters? <sighs> Terrible, huh? All right, all right. Listen, this one is from Leslie, and oh. it doesn't really have a return address, but it's a real nice picture of uh, oh, uh, me and... Oh, oh, not really very good. That's it. Come on, you come on with what? me. Come on. Ah! Ooh. Oh, so, uh, I'll just read this other letter here, okay? Oh, oh hi. Cam, but put that up on Still Store, would you? Yeah, well, sorry about this. Do you know I can't hold up the picture? Can't really hold up anything. <laughs> Arms don't work, you see. They just kind of hang there. <laughs> Sad, really. So, <laughs> this is from Mike Liggett of Beaverton, Oregon, and it says, I have reason to believe that you are not really in space broadcasting, but really broadcasting from Minnesota or somewhere in the U.S. Hmm, and your robots are nothing but puppets. Huh. Real nice. Well, takes all kinds to make a world, huh? I'm Tom Servo reporting. Maria! Oh, I didn't know he could bend that far. <laughs> what do you think, sirs? I don't understand it, Frank. This movie should have broken their will. It should have reduced Joel's brain case to a pea pot. Encouraged the bots to rip their own heads off, and yet they thrive on it. They're growing larger, more confident. You know, sometimes I wish I was one of those little guys up there, quipping away, gadding about. Hmm. I wonder how you go to the bathroom up in space. Frank, hand me my microphone. Deep hurting. <laughs> <laughs>